Hey guys, I thought I would just share a couple of things with you. I live in New England, I know most of you know that, and you know, we have sometimes really, really cold, cold weather. Uh, it's winter time, and the heat is always on, and I have what we call forced hot air heat, and forced hot air heat really dries the air something awful, and I always struggle with keeping moisture in my skin in my hands and things of that nature so oh, before I continue on I mean I'm in where I used to film all the time and I know some of you feel that the background is just too busy one of these days I'll get a screen so when I film in here I'll have something pretty behind me but this sort of functions as my catch-all room my beauty room my home office so if you bookcase behind me I have my doll collection or some of my doll collection I just have a lot of stuff and I am trying to declutter and downsize so I'm thinking ultimately I'll just get some sort of a screen that I can put up behind me, maybe hang from the ceiling or something so that none of you have to deal with the distractions when I film in here. Because sometimes it's just easier to film in here because I have my tripod set up and I don't really have to lug it into the other room or into the bathroom where I've been doing 99% of my filming because a lot of you like to see the window behind me. And so in the bathroom that works, but for a quicker video, this is a little bit easier at times. So anyways, because we have the dry air, I have found that the more I have the heat on, the, the hotter it is for my skin to stay hydrated. So one of the things that I did get that was sent to me from the Octoly Network quite a while ago, actually from Skin Deva or Diva, was their hydrating anti-aging infusion spray. And I know that. I've talked about this. I've reviewed this. I have a, a spray. It just sprays moisture and healthy, healthy moisture on your face. It isn't a setting spray or anything, of, at least not that I use it. I just really like this a lot. This has some really great ingredients. And if you like cucumbers, you will definitely like this. The problem with this spray, and this is the one thing that I really don't like, and I know some people have taken it out of this and put it into a different spray bottle and, and probably that would work. But the problem with the spray is that it really comes out heavy and it's really hard to get a fine mist unless you hold it far away, which is what I do. So the way I've been using this in the morning, after I do my normal, you know, and every morning after I wash my face, I put a toner on my face. I use one of a few different toners. I have an essence on order. I haven't got it yet, but when that comes in, I'll start using that. And then I'll go and I will put my vitamin C on and pat that in, and then I put my Matrixel. Then, after that dries, I will go into the bathroom and I will spray this on my dry skin and get it, it gets wet. And almost immediately, this is just how I'm doing it, and I have found a huge difference in my skin since I've been doing it this way. And, and again, whether you're using that type of a hydrating spray or anything else, I've tried one, I think it was e.l.f., I should dig it out because I have it somewhere. I've tried a number of different hydrating sprays. So then I saturate my face, so to speak. I get, it's wet. And you can actually see the moisture. And at that same time, I take my hyaluronic acid. Now, the hyaluronic acid that I'm currently using and I have gone between the ordinary hyaluronic acid. I have Timeless Skin Care. I use their hyaluronic acid. I also have one from Skin Diva that they had sent me that I really like. So after I spritz my face with the moisture, that's when I take my hyaluronic acid and I just pat that all over my face. I think that has helped by putting the hyaluronic acid on my face wet, I think that's helped my skin maintain its moisture a lot. And so I really, I really like that. And that's my morning routine. So after my hyaluronic acid somewhat dries down, I've gone back to the Ar Argeline. I stopped using it for a while because it was really on the fence whether or not it was actually doing anything and that's the you know Botox in a bottle and I have a bottle of it that I used it still has a lot in it because I stopped using it and then I said you know I'm gonna pick this back up and you know how you just kind of revisit sometimes your past loves that you kind of neglected so I started to just put it here you know where my face I mean the, this is my as far as my skin not being as firm as I would like it, my saggy skin area, this is this area a lot on me. So I've been trying to put it there in my 11s. My 11s have, 
I would say that my 11s, and, I, and some of you may totally disagree with me, but I would say that my 11s and my forehead wrinkles have dramatically improved since my Retin-A use dramatically. And I contribute that to my Retin-A and my derma rolling. Now I don't derma roll as often. I don't derma roll once a week anymore. When you're doing derma rolling and you're doing exfoliation and my microdermabrasion and my spatula, so when you're using systems, you have to kind of figure out where they're all going to fall into play. So derma rolling, and quite frankly, I never really, I never looked forward to derma rolling because it's not really comfortable. Even though I would numb my face, I would still always feel something. And I never went deep and drew blood. So anyways, I, I derma roll probably once every other week. And I just, I derma roll my trouble areas, you know, obviously. So I really think, you know, combination of the derma rolling has probably contributed to helping for sure, without a doubt, helping to make my product sink in deeper. But I really think it's the Retin-A has done an amazing job on my 11s. And when I'm squinting in the sun or when I'm stressed and reading, you can see the 11s. They, those things never, it, unless maybe if you have Botox and I have no experience with, you know, fillers and whatnot there, uh, or anywhere actually. But maybe then, if you had that, you you would they would go away. I don't know. But for me, my 11s get bad when I'm squinting. Obviously, in the sun, I wear sunglasses all the time, and I wear oversized sunglasses, and that I think helps with your, you know, your your fine lines. So the oversized sunglasses, I wear them all the time, not just in the summertime. It helps that they're prescription, so I can see what I'm doing. But I really think that my 11s and my forehead lines have dramatically, dramatically improved big time and I go up pretty high I mean I think it's helped my skin in combination with everything I'm doing is really improved if you look at some of my older older videos even people that know me think I you know will say they I, they feel I look younger today than I did three four or five years ago which is kind of cool because you know I like hearing that but anyways the Olay Pro retinol eye treatment that I've been using since my birthday in February I've been going through and finishing up the US version of the Olay Pro Retinol Eye Treatment. I would say probably 99.9% .9 every night and every morning. I've already completed since February one tube. Now when I bought this US version, I bought two of them. And so I've completed one of these and I'm gonna work my way through this unless I put it in a giveaway, I'm not too sure. But I also have two of the UK version, which I love. And I have a tube that I'm working on that still has a good half in it. So since February, not even two full tubes and I use it twice a day. So what I do is I put a blob on after I've done my morning skincare, I put a little a dot on here because this is where I am working the, the Olay Pro Retinol in. Now, for those of you that, um, really want to try the European version. I'm going to link a very, very close, looks a little bit different, but I'm going to link it below. Olay has come out with a eye cream that it has almost the identical, identical ingredients as the UK version. The UK version and the US version ingredients list are very, very close, but there's higher concentration of like, so the retinol in this one, they moved up higher in the list, etc. So Olay has recently come out with, and one of my subscribers had told me about it. So I'm going to order it, but not yet because I have stock that I want to go through. But I'll link the new version of the Olay Pro, and it's Deep Wrinkle something. I'll link it all below for you guys because I'm really excited because I think that the ingredients list is super, super good. Very similar to the UK version of it, and I think... I think that'll be awesome. It's also a little bit more money though, unfortunately. I think it's like $10 more, or maybe not. Maybe it's just four or $5 more. I, I have to look, I don't, I don't really recall. But the other thing is that, so you know, I'm still using that and I'm still using, and I was so thrilled because I got this as gifted two bottles of these from Mary Glitzy Fritzy. I talked about them in my last, uh, my last video. So I had a couple of you say exactly how am I using that? Why don't I use it on my jowls? Why don't I use it here? Um, and you know what, the, 
the the way I've been using the Olay, the um, I shouldn't say the Olay, the the skin forming smoothing concentrated serum. I've been using this for a long, long time, and I think it was Beauty by Anne Marie where I first heard about that. I take a little tiny, tiny dab of it, and I just put it on the inside pockets of my eyelids. I've never really used it here, although on some mornings I probably should think about it because I have not been sleeping well at all for quite a while, so I have a lot of disturbed sleep. But I haven't really used it here, but I probably will stop. But I just use a little tiny dab of it. So it, it, it'll take me a long time to go through this. I'm so forever grateful for Mary for sending me those two bottles. I just think that's like, that's like so, so super, super awesome. The other thing that I have just got, oh, hold on, I gotta go get it. I forgot to bring it in, so I had to run and get it. Um, this is also something that I was influenced actually by Beauty by Anne Marie. So I give her credit for turning me on to this, I think two years ago now. It's been a while. And, um, and so because I was so happy with the results for my eyes when she started to tout this, and I am Avine. I can't, I probably can't pronounce it, so I'm just gonna show it. When she started to talk about this, I will link her video below, but when she mentioned this product, for broken capillaries, for redness and all that stuff, I was like, geez, I really, really want to try it out. I really did. And I I hate spending it I think I think she was had the her prices that she had listed. Not that they were her prices, but the prices in the links that she had. I think it was like forty dollars for one of these. And I said, Oh man, I feel comfortable with a recommendation from Beauty by Anne Marie. So, uh, but we all have different skin, we all have different issues. So my issue might not be as, you know, I may not have the super results that she's had for the issues she's tried it for. For me, I have a lot of broken capillaries and this is something that she may not have, but I felt pretty comfortable ordering it. I did think that the $40 was a bit steep, so I, I think I found it on overstock.com. And I think she had that linked as well for a lot cheaper. They had a special. So I, I was like 20 some odd dollars in overstock.com. So I just got it in. I haven't tried it yet. It's, it's something I guess you do from what I was able to see on the directions. You do it like twice a day. I am going to really try it on my, especially my nose area, because that's my, my trouble area. So that's what I'm trying. I'm really excited about trying that. And the other thing I wanted to share with you guys, it's a couple of things. You know, when you talk about, you know, tried and true and falling in love again with products you haven't used or you did use and you just put it away, I think YouTube and YouTube in general can really influence a lot of people to buy things without a doubt. I've been influenced. I just talked about the product from Beauty by Anne Marie that she talked about. I've been influenced. So one of the things that I bought, I want to say it was the beginning of the year. I'm not even too sure. But I bought this Bare Minerals palette. Now, I am more into a everyday type of, let me see if I can find something to block my mirror. I will. I'm more into an everyday type of colors and lately on Instagram, my Insta stories, I have had a lot of questions lately about the palette, my eye colors, what am I doing, etc. And it dawned on me that for the last, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks or so, I've been going back to this. I bought this quite a while ago. This was not sent to me. By the way, everything I'm talking about in this video, I'm not sponsored. So this was not sent to me. I bought this quite a while ago and I loved it. Now this is like, a, it's a very soft to me, subtle shades. They build up, but you have to really build them up, which I like. I don't, they're pigmented, but they're not like super, super heavy, 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 heavy pigments, which is just my cup of tea. It really is. It's just what I need because I would rather build up than to have to take down and remove. And like some of my other, like my, I have like an Urban Decay palette. It's so pigmented. 
and it just when it goes on it goes on too dark for me even with my lightest touch so I end up having to take it off and then I get frustrated everyone raves about the palette but I'm frustrated with it because it's just so pigmented but this Bare Minerals this one I, I don't even remember the name of it I'll see if I can find it but I bought it at the beginning of the year I don't even know if they still have it in the stores I got it in Ulta and I really love it all the colors I I can work I've worked with a lot of the colors and so yeah and that's what I have on today yes I'm not a pro I am not a pro by any stretch but that's what I have on today and so I wanted to just share that because that's like a things that you fall back in love with <laughs> if you want to call it that and the rest of what I talked about you know all of the things that I really talked about my Olay Pro I mean I use that every day you know when you're 64 and you see the wrinkles and you see and there's only so much turning back the clock you can ever do because age age happens to us all you know it really does but I am a firm believer in if I can look the best I possibly can look if I can slow the aging process down a little bit why not you know I think we should all do what we can afford and feel comfortable doing so for me plastic surgery for this is out of the question um, Will I have fillers someday? I'm, I'm intrigued by that. I may. I don't know. Um, probably not, though. But I'm not saying no. I have nothing against people that have had plastic surgery that do fillers. Nothing against that at all. Botox, all of that stuff. That I, you know, do what you can afford. I'm just trying to do it with product. So, yeah. So, the Olay Pro Retinol, the eye treatment I've been using. If I were to have to say to go out and buy it, if I were to tell you guys to go out and buy it, I would say yes. If you have wrinkles like I have, Go out and buy it, be patient, but don't expect an overnight thing. Even with my, my derma rolling, don't expect an overnight results. Retin-A, nothing overnight. It took a while for any of that stuff to work for me. I'm doing all the little things that I can do to age as gracefully as I can, and I don't feel old, you know? I don't really feel old. I, I, I feel young. I know I feel younger than I am. And I know sometimes I act younger probably. I, you know, I still dance around the house barefoot. I still dance to my rock bands. I still love concerts. I, you know, there's a lot of things I love that sometimes that people go, really, you like all that? You're as old as you are and you like all that? I do, I do. So the other thing is my hair. You know, I've had, I've worn my, my wig and I'll show you my wig. This is my favorite, favorite wig. This is that Henry Margu um, Hayden. And I absolutely love it. I really do. I wish my own hair, I wish I had this kind of volume, but if you had this kind of volume, you wouldn't be needing a wig, right? So I really love this. So um, I wear it a lot in some of my videos. And when I wear it, I more often than not get a compliment from somebody that maybe has just watched the video for the first time. They don't realize I'm wearing a wig, even though I've listed it below in the description box. Sometimes I say it in the video, but not all the time. So I did want to say that I try to recreate <laughs> that look with this hair. And I got this product sent to me from Octoly. I'm going to insert it now. And, um, and you can take a look at the video and see how I did my somewhat beachy waves. So that's it for now, guys. I am done. And watch the video for my hair information, if you want. Bye-bye. <laughs> so I want to share with you what I received from a Blow Pro Wave Maker. This was actually sent to me free via the Octoly Network for me to try. I was really excited about being approved for this and I'll tell you it came really well packaged. This came together, the Blow Pro Wave Maker, and it was wrapped in bubble, very secured in a um, shipping box. I was very impressed because sometimes you get stuff in the mail and the shipping box is beat up and whatever. Um, but this came, this was really nice. Well, well packed. Came with a little glove and directions, obviously, for someone like me, if you're challenged with that stuff. And then it came with this blowout spray, hairspray, non-stick. So I'm really excited about this. I did request this. I wanted to try to see if I could do a beachy wave. I'm telling this feels really good on the hands. I will obviously link all the information down below. I'm going to go ahead and do my hair with it and see if I can create some sort of waves with it. I'm also going to use this. And my hair is probably shorter, 
but I'm going to give it a try. Now the other thing that I had ordered from them was the blow dryer and they ended up sending me this professional salon flat iron blow pro this is the pink edition and again it came super super packed in a box it is a flat iron well constructed really feels comfortable and solid in the in your hands it's not something that's light and flimsy so i really like that and this is for a smoother now i have straight hair and what I had requested and what they had said they approved me for was their blow dryer, or the hair dryer. So that's what I was kind of expecting, but unless another box is still to come, which I'm not too sure because I only ordered these two, but that is what I was expecting and I think they might have sent this by mistake, but I... I'm going to give it my best shot, even though, ah, look at this, it's really nice. It's really well put together. I'm going to, I'm going to give it my best shot on trying it out, but this is the one that I'm really super excited about trying. I want to do those, those beachy waves, whoops, and very, very nice. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to go ahead and try to create a do with it but I just wanted to share this with you so that you could see and again this was gifted to me this is blow pro this is the wave maker and this is the flat iron both of these were gifted to me via the Octoly network from blow pro I'm extremely excited even though it's not the blow dryer over here I'm still extremely excited so I'll let you know how I like them so I I used it for the first time and um, I actually kind of really like it. It's, it's sort of wind tussled. I probably could have heated it up higher and more, it had made more of a firmer wave, but I just have this kind of like loose flowy wave and I do like it. I have not used the flat iron part yet. This is the thing that I, I do think this was sent by mistake, but I'll contact the company. But uh, the wave maker is really cool. Once I master it, I think I can get some I think it looks good. You like it, honey? I do. Wow, honey likes it. So, yeah. This is my hair with this awesome, awesome Blow Pro Wave Maker. And I'm absolutely thrilled, oh, it's hot still, that they sent this to me. So I absolutely love it. Thanks so much, guys.